Hi everybody. I hope that you are having a great Sunday and a great end to your weekend. I have decided to start with a Halloween project and I absolutely love this witch. I am not super into Halloween like a lot of people, but I think this is adorable. So I think my biggest hang up with Halloween is I don't like to dress up in a costume and mostly I don't like to come up with a costume. So because there's a lot of detail on here, I thought it might be easier if I show you from above instead of trying to have you look and keep holding it up. So I'm sorry that um, I will miss seeing who's on, but I will check all of that. If you guys have any questions or comments along the way, please uh, write them in the comment box and I will be happy to respond back to you when I'm finished. So the first thing I'm doing is fuzzing my cloth and I am gonna work on, um, this is a Chalk Couture Grayson chalkboard, so it's a really nice surface. I have, there's um, hooks on both sides, so you can have it horizontal or vertical. So I wanna make sure I have it correct side up. And then we are gonna take our transfer and just center it here. Now, there are lots of little details in this. I can feel just a little something underneath here. It's by the eye here. It's just a little, okay. So, nice and smooth. I want any air pockets. And as you can see, there's all these little dots. So we're gonna actually go from the inside or the outside and kind of work our way down with this. So I have, you can see my colors up here. I've got bright orange, yellow, purple, and white that we're gonna do for this. And so the first thing um, that we're gonna do, and I am using my uh, little multi-tool that has the very narrow um, edge here because as we go along here, we're gonna try to keep things as neat as possible to keep them in the colors that we want. So I'm just gonna adjust my light one second to make sure that you guys can see this a little bit better. It looked a little dark to me. So let's see here. So hopefully that might give it a little bit more light. Okay, so the first color that we're going to use is orange. So I have all stirred up all of my pastes already and I'm just gonna go along this top line and squeegee on my orange to start with. Now these are tiny dots and they're gonna dry quickly so we do not want to dilly-dally. Honestly, this would probably be just as cute to do it plain white and it would take two minutes, except I don't want to do it plain white. I want to add some color to it. So why not? And if we don't like it, the nice thing about having it on this surface is we can wipe it right off and start all over. But I figure we might as well live dangerously and take a chance and have it look exactly the way we want it to. So, and I've got a little bit of orange paste on my side here, but that we can just wash right off. That's gonna be no problem. And there'll probably be more than one of those little things, so we'll just wait until the very end. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeegee this up right here. And then I'm actually gonna pull these two sides up for a sec. Let's see here. And then we'll set it back down. And when you're lifting it up and putting it back down, okay, so we're just gonna let that dry for one sec. Okay, so when we lift it up and put it back down, we just need to make sure that everything else is good and secure. Okay, so let's finish our orange and we will now go along this side and the bottom. And 
I do like the colors of Halloween, orange and yellow and purples and greens and that kind of stuff. So I thought about doing some green in here for the witch, kind of tribute to Wicked, but I actually think I'm gonna stick to white for that. That might be too colorful, but we'll see how this goes. We can always change our mind. I've got green right behind me there. So this is going along, and then we'll pull these up. Okay, this, and I will just squeegee this little bit extra off. And we have covered all of our orange dots. Let me just Pull this side up for a sec. So give this a quick dry. Now I don't want to put the heat on my transfer, but I'm just putting it along my chalkboard. And again, because these are so minute, it's gonna dry super quick. Okay, now before I um, put the or clean off my orange handle, I'm also gonna do um, broom included in orange. So I'm just going to go along with this. And then we'll do our other side. And again, we will lift this part up. So if you are a Halloween person, please comment and let me know. And then also let me know what your favorite Halloween costume that you ever did was. Because people that seem to love Halloween are people that are really creative in creating these awesome costumes that I would never be able to come up with in a million years. And I admire that. I think that is pretty awesome and fun. I just don't have that in me. So if you are that person and have had really fun costumes in the past, please share with us what they have been. Okay, so now we're just gonna lift this up from the bottom. Now to do this transfer with these um, different colors, you absolutely want to do a chalk couture surface because that is gonna really give you the nicest um, finish with this. And for sure, if you don't like how it turns out, this is exactly what you want to do. Okay, so let's take a second and just make sure that we have pushed all of this back down again. Okay, especially our witch and these letters here. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is this border and we're going to do this in the purple color so the purple color isn't going to show up a ton ton because it's a darker against the black um, but I think that it'll really add something and I uh, am excited to try it so let's kind of go along here and let's be organized here and how we want to do this It's easier if we just go back and forth in quick little strokes here. I haven't done something like this, this detail, maybe ever. I was gonna say, if I've done it, it's been in it's been a little while. So we're just gonna kind of go along this corner. here and then we'll pull that part up and try that. So the weather certainly around here has gotten much better today. I'm hoping to turn off our air conditioning. I probably won't get away with it tonight but Jim is going out of town tomorrow so I can definitely do it tomorrow and 
I am much more of a fresh air person if I can get away with it. Now, I was very, very happy to have air conditioning this past weekend for sure. But I think it doesn't seem to be as humid. And so we will just have to see. Okay. Okay, now let's pull this up. Now, Halloween is going to be here before we know it. Oh yeah, I like the purple. You can see it. Okay, so let's just let this dry for one second. And so I, if you are interested in doing any kind of a Halloween project, um, look on, I will post it on my business page, but I'm also going to have it predominantly on my VIP page. If you are interested in doing any classes to make something Halloween-like for your home, I would um, be happy to have you join me when I do that. And you just, um, again, I will have definite times and um, the different projects that we're gonna be working on so you know. And then if you see something different that you would prefer, you can let me know and I will uh, do my best to make that happen. Okay, so let me quickly go along here with these little lines. So far, actually, we're doing pretty well with our paste not drying too quickly as we go along. And I feel like we've been able to match it back up where it needed to be. So, so far, I'm happy. I think this is, is going pretty well. And this actually, um, like you might think that it would kind of stress you out trying to do all of these things, but actually, I kind of like it. This is, you just have your stuff all ready to go and we are good. Okay, so this is the excess is squeegeed off. So now let's pull this up here from our top. Okay. So I don't know if you, it's probably hard for you to see the purple, but definitely in person you can see the purple. So let me. Okay. And then that is all of the purple that I'm going to have. So I'm just going to take a second. Okay. Now we, I, my plan is to do Salem certified in yellow and all of these little stars in yellow and uh, the moon. So I'm going to do all of those little things in yellow. So let me just uh, get my multi-tool ready to go. So if anybody is watching, please say hello and let me know that you're watching. I would love um, to say hello back to you. Okay, so now we're gonna do our yellow. Now, before we got started, I used, or I stirred up all of my chalk paste and stirred it up to make sure that it was a nice yogurt consistency. And that just makes it easy to go when you're going with your project. Now, you don't wanna leave your pastes open for long periods of time, but certainly, when you're doing a project, you're not gonna have any troubles to just move along. I, th and because it can dry relatively quickly, that is one reason I would not choose to work on this outside. Even though I love um, to be outside, that is not, I think it just dries out too quickly. Okay, so we are gonna scrape off our excess there and there, and then let's pull this up and down to let all of our yellow show through. So even taking our time and doing these extra colors 
this is actually not taking all of that long at all and I think it looks really good. So let me just blow dry these, this yellow a little bit. And then all we have left is white and we will be good to go. Now when we are finished, now um, all we need to do is clean this up with water. Now the witch, as you can see, this is a fabric silk screen. Oops. And so there is a lot of open area. So we, again, really wanna take a minute to make sure that all of our letters are back down and that they're pressed well against the board because that is gonna ensure that we have nice, crisp letters. So now we're just gonna do our white and I am gonna move quickly so that we can do all of our white and pull it up for our big reveal at one time. I'm still using the multi-tool just because I want to go in between all of my other colors and it's just easier for me. It's really like using a pencil. So I'm kind of scraping as I go. I'm doing these letters and you can see as you're doing the silk screen where your letters are. And so you just wanna make sure that wherever the letters are, you're not seeing any black from the chalkboard through there. So I can make sure that all of that is covered. Now with these letters, I'm squeegeeing off and I don't wanna have lines in my um, paste. Maybe I'll use a bigger squeegee for that. Um, because that might give me lines, that looks much better, as I am pulling it off. And yeah, let me do this um, for our witch. That'll make it much quicker. The white really, I think, pops with the white frame edge and also um, just against the black. You can really see it well. So I'm just squeegeeing off this extra. And then we can just very carefully kind of go up near our purple for Salem Certified. squeegee with my multi-tool since these letters are smaller. That works a little bit better for me. And keeping, oh, I got some yellow paste right on my frame. Okay, so here we go. Let's pull it up for our big reveal and see what we got. Oh my gosh, that looks terrific. So I'm gonna stick this right in my water bath right here. And then I hope you can see the purple. In person, really, it looks good. But this looks awesome. So again, look for some Halloween classes if you have any interest um, in getting a group together to do your own Halloween project. Let me know and we can make that happen. But otherwise, come join me at my house and we can have a really fun class. So you have a great rest of your weekend. I hope that you are all ready to start a fresh week and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.